for me. I need a whole, I need my boob size energy. How y'all feeling today? Oh my God, that makes me happy. All right, I'm gonna um, steal your energy really quickly with a call and response, and then I'm gonna do two poems, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of the way. Work? Is that the plan? Awesome. Work. All right, so your job is just to repeat after me and to make everybody who went to any of the other nine readings want to kill themselves. Are we ready? All right. Yeah, do way better. Your job is to be as loud as my earrings are fly. Right? Earrings are fly. Or as my boobs are big. Either one is the visualization I want you to do. Are we clear? Do we smiled at me. <laughs> I'm in Sweden. Sit here by the gods of poetry to unpack my woman, my American, my black. Fashion it a map back to ourselves. This is what I like to think I do on the good days. On the good days, I'm supposedly a word hero. 10,000 tongues setting fire to the cauldron of possible until we boil up better than what we put in the pot. A hot flame of truth said to sing someone awake. Are you awake? On the good days, I'm not what I am on the bad days. On the bad days, I'm a lost love letter blown 10,000 miles away from the last hands that ever cared that I wrote it in the first place. On the bad days, I am the face of what is less than 0.8% of a population that finds me as curious as a three-toed frog. This loud American woman who walks up and pets the West Highland Terriers of terrified middle-aged Swedish women who back away slowly from me as if I might decide to eat them and their little dogs too. <laughs> On my bad days, <laughs> maybe I'm just like you. A tourist in this strange province of skin, praying for a friend to rise out of the tide like Excalibur, sever lonely into a tiny slice of scene. See, what I mean is, I'm in a dress shop in Uppsala, Sweden, and this particular body looking for an outfit the opposite of gaudy to wear to an award ceremony back in the States. Trying not to be heightenly awake to the fact that everybody in here is staring at me like I just walked in here on stilts or nitrous oxide. <laughs> I decide to ignore the stairs and ask for what I need. Excuse me, sir, may I see this dress in an extra large? The first thing you should know about Sweden is nothing is extra large except for maybe Ikea. The second thing you should know is that the customer service rep, in response to my request for a dress in an extra large, was a snicker, a sneer, and a good I have never had the opportunity to use the word guffaw as someone's actual response to an inquiry of mine. But indeed, indeed, this fella offered me a guffaw as he brushed me off like yesterday's lynch, assuring me there was nothing in this establishment in my size. Ooh. Fuck him, right? <laughs> but this is not a poem about my hurried rush out of the door before the tears left kamikaze from my eyes. It's not even about my thighs. And their inappropriate largeness in a store that obviously doesn't do big thighs. This is a poem to tell you it's been 10 days and no one has smiled at me. Not as I gathered my shards of self-esteem and shoved them on a train, headed back to a room no less sterile than a surgeon's knife. Not when I arrived and a man held the doors open like an exceptional book and it's not that people didn't look that they didn't see. And I'm no less guilty of flying so fast in my good day cape that I missed the opportunity to save the life of the guy I flew by with a look in his eye, allowing the creases of my mouth to gather like a hammock, offering a rest. Because the truth is, my best gift, our best gift, is often stopping long enough to realize we are not doing this living thing alone. Every sidewalk is a front door. Every person is a home. We all just invited in and no we can't be everyone's friend but we can be everyone's smile we can be everyone's sit down a while everyone's I'm sorry that last guy was a jerk everyone's I see your hurt I see you I see you I see you 
And on this enormous planet, it is that eyelash of a moment that we so often miss. So forgive me if I stepped to this mic this evening and didn't offer you this. My only request when I'm gone, somebody needs it in Oakland. Jesus, yeah. pass it on. money you make. The greatest gift you will ever receive is letting the universe teach you how to be delighted. Thank you guys. Oh. 